Once your co-op advisor has confirmed your co-op position, you will need to register for the co-op course for the upcoming term. This video will demonstrate registering for the co-op term as well as editing information, including your supervisor, during the co-op term. You will start by logging into PAL and clicking the Register for Co-op menu option. The first item that appears in the pop-up is an evaluation of your experience with your co-op advisor. Please complete this evaluation honestly and consider all of the emails, whether group or individual, sent to you throughout the term. If you are registering for your final co-op term, you will also be asked to complete a senior survey of your entire co-op experience. We appreciate your time in providing valuable feedback for the continuous improvement of the Cooperative Education Program at the University of Cincinnati. Once you complete the two screens of evaluation questions, you will begin the four-step registration process. The first step is to enter your supervisor's name. While you can complete your registration without the name of your supervisor, as we will do here today, this is a great opportunity to contact your employer and let them know that the co-op registration process requests a supervisor's name and inquire as to whose name you should enter. If you are working for an established co-op employer, your supervisor's name may be available on the drop-down list. If not, you may have to enter the individual's name and contact information manually. After clicking Next, you'll be asked for additional position information, your starting salary, and your position start and end dates. You can complete your co-op registration if you do not know your salary at this time, but will be asked to enter the information later. Again, if your start and end dates have not been firmly established with your employer, this is an excellent opportunity to ask and let them know that it is required information for your registration. If you are in an unpaid position as part of the Experiential Explorations Program, or EEP, click the box to denote that you will not be paid. If the start and end dates of your position do not align with the university co-op calendar dates, you should consult your co-op advisor. On the third page, you are asked to enter the address at which you will be working while employed as a co-op student. Finally, there are five program-specific questions for you to answer pertaining to your status in the Honors Program and if you are planning to count your co-op experience towards your Honors requirements, if you anticipate international travel, if you are a part of the formal International Co-op Program. This program requires intensive language training. If you are participating in academic research or for business and IT students, if this is your final co-op term. After clicking the Submit button, your registration information is forwarded to Propel for processing. Registration is usually processed within three days. However, at peak times, it can take up to one week. You'll know your registration has been processed when your co-op course shows on your university schedule accessible on OneStop. Please allow one week for this to process. If, after registering for the term, you need to change any of the information you input during this process or include information you omitted, you can update information using the Edit Position Information menu option. After making changes on this page, be sure to scroll to the bottom to save your changes. This video walked through the process of registering for the co-op term. Remember, you cannot complete your co-op registration until your co-op advisor has approved and placed you in a co-op position for the upcoming term. Also, there will be a delay after you complete the registration via PAL and the course registration showing on your UC schedule and bill. If one week has passed since you registered and the course is not on your schedule, please contact Kathy Voyles for further assistance.